Commander, we have arrived at Jump Station. Mechs deployed, Commander. Welcome everybody to my sixth video. This video is about the Argo class dropship uh, that was designed for the Hairbrain Games uh, Battletech game system, a uh, video game system. Uh, <coughs> there is, uh, it's apocryphal, which means it's not really part of the game, but this is the reason why I think it would be a, a great uh, dropship to add to any mercenary force. The Argo class of dropship was an experimental uh, dropship by Boeing Interstellar conceived to serve as a self-sufficient mobile base to support a flotilla of exploration ships. The idea was for the Argo class vessels to follow behind the first wave of explorers into a new system and support surveyor, terraformer, and colonizing teams there in a sense of a shore leave base and logistical hub. It features state-of-the-art habitation and an internal cargo conveyor system that could ferry equipment and vehicles between cargo bays and the several docked drop ships. Uh, being unable to land, the Argo could not deploy ground vehicles or mechs itself. For its long-term mission profile, where it would stay in a new unsettled system for months and where the crew would live on the ship for years, if not decades at a time, the Argo was fitted with a folding gravity deck design with three habitation pods, one of them reserved for passengers and temporary guests. It features three mass medical theaters, larger than life quarters and passenger accommodations, rec recreational areas, fitness centers, and extensive hydrophonic gardens. It also features a multiple docking collar system, MDSCS, allowing different sized dropships to attach to the Argo when the Argo is not attached to a jump ship. <clears throat> As a large peacetime exploration ship, lacking any sufficient weaponry and featuring only paltry armor, thrust, and movability, the theoretical main defense of the Argo would be aerospace fighters launched from its six small craft cubicles. It also features 12 battle mech cubicles, specifically intended for work mechs, uh, particular exploration mechs, but can be used for other mech types as well as for mech repair bays. I envision those 12 uh, uh, cubicles for mechs that are not in combat. The Argo has a cargo capacity of 57,000 tons to support explorer missions and help establish new colonies. The aforementioned six small craft cubicles and altogether three uh, MDSCS docking collars allow the Argo to carry a small fleet of support dropships and small craft. Only two prototype Argo class vessels existed and only one of them ever slipped its mooring. This prototype, also named Argo, dropped out of contact during its maiden voyage in the deep periphery. The other prototype, Medirium, was broken down for parts before being completed. Uh, basically, this ship came about just around the time that the Ameris coup took over and ended the Star League. Okay, at the time of its construction, the Argo was the largest drop ship ever constructed by far. The 100,000 ton behemoth was only in a prototype stage in 2658, and its design would not be finalized until 2782. What I like about the Argo is pretty simple. I like the ability of using the Argo with two leopards attached, one with the ability to transport four mechs and two fighters, and the other with a CV version with six aerospace fighters. Okay, and since the Argo already has six small craft bays, perfect to store six more aerospace fighters, this gives the dropship a total of two squadrons in defense and with the ability to store 12 mechs and four repair bays as well. It also features those three um, mass medical theaters, large children life quarters and pasture accommodation, recreation areas, fitness centers, extensive photo, high, uh, photo um, hydrophonic gardens. These make the Argo a great addition to any force uh, that you have. And when you think of the ability to use one leopard for pickup of salvage and or to take damaged mechs and transport back to the Argo for repairs, and then coming back with four fresh mechs to the planet 
to reinforce your forces or get your forces back up to strength. And then the second Leopard uh, CV bringing a full squadron of aerospace onto the battlefield if needed. The force multipliers alone will be substantial and extremely what's the word I'm thinking here extremely beneficial that's the word for any group using it as part of their mission that folks is why I like the Argo and why I've had I have one ordered and will be using it uh, as part of my Azul Dragon Swords mercenary unit thank you you have a good day if you like these videos please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button Thank you much. Goodbye.